dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. They say that blood is thicker than water. We have a special relationship with the members of our family that is deeper than other relationship. We treasure our parents, our brothers and sisters, our sons and daughters. We recognize something of ourselves in our family in a way that is not true of other people. Jesus also must have had a special relationship with his family. However, in today's Gospels, he identified with a different kind of family. He looked beyond his flesh and blood family to different kind of family that he was engaged in forming the family of his disciples. He says that his real mothers and brothers and sisters are those who heard God's words and do it. Jesus heard God's word and did it. His life was saved by God's word and God's will. He called on people to surrender to God's word, to God's purpose, as he did. And he recognized those who did so as members of his new family. This new family, what we call the church. Therefore, our journey to God is a journey of faith, is a shared journey. We are called to support each other in our journey toward God. The gospel today reminds us that we are all part of the great spiritual family of the church. We need the members of this spiritual family just as much as we need the member of our natural family. If a relationship in a human family is understood in terms of connectivity of blood, then relationship in Jesus' family is to be understood in terms of connectivity of heart. Relationship in Jesus' family is defined by association with hearing and doing God's will. If we keep striving to listen to the word of God and so that it saves who we are and what we do, then the Lord will delight in calling us his family. Amen.